cookie cutters, God gave you a nose to breathe with so you can keep your mouth shut. <laughs> Welcome to the podcast. Have Take you heard about the lonesome loser? He's a loser, but he'll still keep on trying. It's what they say. He's afraid of trannies. He may be gay. <laughs> I think it's a Freudian slip. Have you heard about the lonesome loser sitting at the truck stop every night? Have you heard about the lonesome loser? He's a loser, but he'll still keep on texting. He had a free trip to the Olympia, but for whatever God's name, he turned it down. He must have some good plans in store. A free trip to Vegas and he turned it down. What's going on in those truck stops that we don't know about? <laughs> Sit down in your truck seat. Take a look at yourself on Instagram. <laughs> don't you want to be somebody? It's not good enough to be a misfit. You got to get on Instagram and tear all of us down. <laughs> About the, heard about the loads of loser. 340 pounds of muscle going for a 550 bend. Have you heard about the loads of loser? He turned down a trip to the Olympia weekend. Heard about the loads of loser. But did he want to sit at the buffet and watch Leonard eat? About the loads of loser. He's going to be at the level of Dale Truck. Pissing in jugs and slugging booze and <laughs> turning down the Olympia weekend. I can't figure it out, but he still keeps on texting. <laughs> uh, oh, boy. He's going to love that. <laughs> don't mention any names. No. Please. We all know. I don't want to be. I don't want to go on vacation with Lenny, where I'm gonna to have to wait for him all the time to eat his two pounds of flank steak. <laughs> when I want to go stalk Jay Cutler, because he goes to the gym early. How does he know where he's gonna be? At? Oh, his. He's gonna be at his gym. How many gyms are there? I'm, sh- I'm sure he gets goes at everyone free. Oh, please. But I could see, you know, take it, I have to go shoot my insulin. It's a medical necessity. Though. It's bullshit scenarios to make excuses. I just can't figure it out, though. A free trip? What goes on at this truck stop? Probably something juicy. It's, it's called social anxiety. Wow. <laughs> I mean, I know, what, what, what else could it be? You could promote your lift, the recognizability. Keep that fund open. Don't they? Don't they have like competitions there too, like yes. side competitions? Yeah, yeah. They got strong, man. They yeah, got what the fuck, lifting. man? Hey, it's too bad. We wanted. It. I mean, maybe hell. they maybe they have a drinking competition. We could enter them. <laughs> yeah, that too. <laughs> they, they beer, those. beer chugging yeah. contest. Yeah. How about this? Chug beer and then bench. All yeah, right. I bet he'd win, but hopefully we'll give him another opportunity. Keep the. Uh, no, he's gonna have to pay himself. No, keep the GoFundMe open for Jay. It's only staying open through tomorrow. That's it. Tomorrow being Well, you hear Wednesday. that, maniacs? You want to see the Motor City Madman contribute. Now, by the time they hit number, number one, he's not going. He's out. He made yeah. his decision. That's and, it. And, I told and even if he changes his mind, yeah. he's not going to change his mind. We knew from the beginning when we talked about this, we knew Jay would flake because we know Jay. He's not. It, it's it's ridiculous. It makes no sense. Like I told him yesterday, I'm like he does have a brain in his head. He, he's not a stupid person, but he's behaving very stupidly. It's just uh, like why would you waste an opportunity like that? I don't think Jay ever really wanted to join us on a trip to Vegas. I think he got caught up in the excitement of discussing it, texting each other about it, making plans, discussing the possibility of a GoFundMe. He's like, I'm in. I'm in. I'm like, yeah, we're, we're like, gonna we're do like this. are you sure? Yeah, we're going to do this. We're going to We do need that. commitments from everyone. You, meaning you, Lenny, Kalora, and Jay. All three of you committed, and then he backed out. So, But well, the us. good thing is, is he backed out early before we started to go fund me. Not, at, not a day before we were going, which well, is what we thought back. would happen, actually. I'm yeah, that's right. We are, too. We are, too. We wanted him to go. I, I would have loved to have Jay there. You know, that's probably, you know, that's why I'm breaking his balls so much, too, is because I did want him to go. He would have had because, you know, he'd have a good time. He's into that shit. You should have seen when we went when he went to the 
the Diamond Show when oh, Coth when, Co- when Co- yeah Coth Andrew when Coth Andrew was oh. it was in it. Jay was fucking he was dialed into everybody. He he, he was like Marv Albert sitting there doing play by play and commentary on everybody's yeah, physique. This is yeah. like the shit that he's into. We didn't even think it would be a question for him. Mm-hmm. You know, me and Andrew really aren't into that. I don't know fucking bodybuilders. I'm not into that shit. You know what I mean? We We're only going, know what we know through right. this Delray Misfit right. universe. You know, that's We're it. We're going to have a good time in Vegas for the weekend. You know. The expo should be all right, and whatever else we do. But eh, it's his loss. He's going to regret it, and the whole time we're there, you're going to we're going to get yeah, texts and comments. Yeah, that's right. What are you guys doing? You should be going here. Why aren't you guys doing this? Why aren't you yeah. doing that? Like the time when Kalora came here the first time, and Jay was out of town, and he was just messaging us like crazy because he saw we were filming and doing shit, and he was just like, and then he like lashed out and tried to talk shit, and, mm-hmm. and Matt backfired too. Yeah, it just. It, I don't know. I, I don't like. Fl- I, I can't stand when people flake like that. I just be a fucking man. If you say you're gonna do something, fucking do it. You know. Espe- or if you don't want to do it, tell us the truth. Look, I'm really not comfortable going there. I'm, I'm it, you know. especially considering how we were going about collecting money, right, to help pay for you and Kalora. Because if we collected X number of dollars and then someone backs out after we collect the money, we look like fraudsters. Thankfully, that didn't happen. It could have, and we thought it would. Right. We rolled the dice, you know, with Jay a little bit, but he backed out before we started the right. GoFundMe, and we gave him shit, and that's it. So it's just you and Kalora. He'll have to live uh, with his decision, and that's yeah. that. Well, I'd like to address a few of the maniacs, or those that aren't maniacs, that suggested that it applied to, it was synonymous with going on welfare. That's a ridiculous statement. We provide entertainment. We provide inspiration. I think I read street prostitutes, if I, oh, is that if I remember Jesus correctly. Christ. Street prostitute provides a good service. <laughs> Someone on welfare doesn't. Most likely, the people getting welfare end up in the prison system, and we're paying double and triple for their nonsense. So that's a ridiculous comparison. And are you funding money for that freak that went to the L.A. Lakers that, you know what, I'm not going to even say his name. Are you funding money to those rapper cookie cutter crap? How dare you say something about me who's going to save your soul and save your life from the <laughs> cookie cutters, which I'm going to expose at this Olympia. That are ruining bodybuilding, ruining manlyhood with their one size fits all cookie cutter approach. Well, those people that make those fucked up comments don't have to do Plus them out. To, we're here to. Cheer on a local f- hero, Flex Lewis, in the 212 division. And f- what about Cody Montgomery? Does he compete? Never heard of her. <laughs> or Montgomery. Gumfrey. If you're Jason. I'm not sure, but Flex Lewis, it's his last year, and mm-hmm. we're all the misfits are coming out to show our support to Flex. Yeah. I want to quickly thank... Um, well, I want to thank everybody who contributed. Yeah, you don't to, have to do it quickly. These they they deserve a thank you. you this know, is great. I, some people probably don't want names mentioned. I know some people un- contributed anonymously, privately, so you I can see their names, but I think maybe others can't. I don't know. But one person in particular, his first, well, it's a con. That's all I know him by. We exchanged a few messages on Instagram the day before we started the GoFundMe. And he was basically like, I'm not a troll. Let me know when you start the GoFundMe and I will donate five hundred dollars wow i think he said he lives in new zealand he said your videos over the years have helped me get through some very hard times and i want to do what i can to to contribute something to this trip to get some more videos so you know i'm for me seeing is believing i wasn't quite sure if he was being genuine and then we put up the gofundme and he contributed 650 dollars it's fucking great so those cookie cutters get you through hard times that freak that went to the lakers that lion freak from Akron, Ohio, does he get you through hard times? And also, real quick here, my he can't even get me through a hard dump. <laughs> How about saying thank you to fucking Genghis Khan for the the contribution, Leonard? I'm talking about LeBrick James. All right, <laughs> Genghis Khan's one of my one of the great. No, the guy's name leaders. is Akon, but you know, Genghis Khan. I just I just made that connection now. I'm a little huh. slow. And my buddy Matthew, who lives in Hawaii. Um, he sent me a very nice message too through Facebook. He said the videos and podcast have got me through countless hours of painfully boring microscope work. I think he's, he's a biologist, if I remember correctly. Uh, so the least a marine biologist. So the least I can do is offer occasional support. I have to explain to my coworkers why I'm laughing hysterically every now and then, but it's no big deal. Um, anyway, so point being that you know, for the few people who want to 
judge anyone who accepted money for the, for this trip. I completely understand where you're coming from, and I respect your opinion. Absolutely. And there's nothing I can say to counter your opinion. You, you're in completely entitled to your opinion. But for every negative comment I read, I either see a comment like the one my friend Matthew wrote me, or I get a DM on Instagram and Facebook from people saying, thank you, your videos got, I've gotten messages from people overseas in the military. I've gotten messages from people who've been laid up in hospital beds, um, recovering from car accidents. Like chance. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just saying how much our video has helped them get through hard times, um, recovering from whatever it was they had to recover from, and, and that makes it all worth it. Yeah, absolutely. So we're not gonna dwell for one second on any negative comments that any people post. You're entitled to your opinion, but we did the GoFundMe, we're going to Vegas, and enjoy, that's all we have to say. Enjoy the men. Enjoy, Just, enjoy the videos, whether you contributed or not, whether you hate us or not, enjoy the videos like anyone else. That's all yeah. I can say. And Kalor wanted me to thank everybody too that contributed since he can't be here, obviously. Good. But yeah, he appreciates it. Yes, I appreciate we it. We all well, appreciate but that's our divine yeah. mission. I would do the same for any one of you, you if you have a scenario where you need the funding. The funding is a simple part. Going out and doing it, taking action is the, the hard part, the part that etches itself in history. You know what it shows me? That do we or do we not have the most charismatic, genuinely loyal, faithful, crazy, insane group of viewers out of anyone online, Mom, cookie you, you know? cutters also. That oh yeah, reserve, they're just just when we just when I do a live or whenever I, I post something in the comments are fucking hysterical. That don't follow they're, those it's jackasses. Great. Even when <laughs> even even right. when they break my balls, I fucking laugh yeah, at all that yeah, shit. I, I know I'm it. setting myself up when I post something of me doing squats and shit like that. <laughs> I know I'm gonna get a right. bunch of criticism. I think it's fucking hysterical. We all do. I don't give a shit. It's great. Maybe I've never said this enough over the years, or maybe I've never said it at all, but I fucking love our maniacs. Yeah. I, I, I love you through, guys. Man. Yeah. Like, you guys came through for us, and we're going to come through for you. That's it. Period. Absolutely. Most creative bunch of whack jobs on the internet, and we fucking love all of them. <laughs> what great. What does drive me a little nuts, though, is the fucking the group DMs. I One guy showed me how to leave conversations. I didn't know how to do that. Oh, yeah, I got included in, I, there's like <laughs> 10 different conversations that I'm included in and some of them have nothing to do with us. It's just a bunch of fucking, yeah, I know. I, I'm like, how the fuck do I get out of this shit? So I finally leave conversation. It's perfect. Now I know how to do that. Cause Jay's in like 10 different, at least <laughs> uh, I'm exaggerating when I say yeah. 10, but he's in at least five or six. I'll post that, the same shit. The same shit on each one. one. Like, yeah. I don't need to see, yeah. like enough, man, enough, enough, enough. Yeah. But that's that's what happens when you're bored at the truck stop, I guess. You know what I want to talk about tonight? Now that we've gone, I don't want to dwell on the whole Vegas trip GoFundMe thing. We, we touched on it and that's it. Have you, I don't know about you, Lenny, but Brad, you're on Instagram. Mm -hmm. Well, you have it too, but I don't think you use it much. What is this in my feelings challenge? I was going to ask the same fucking thing. You know the, what's funny is I saw, the, I don't know what channel it was on, but when I was at Duffy's today on the TV, they actually showed a clip of a kid doing it and it, in Boynton Beach. Uh -huh. This black kid, he jumps out of the car, he starts dancing and doing that heart with his hands yeah. like fucking, Mazag Ma is it Mazagati that did that? Yeah. What's your referee? Are you... Oh, oh, no. Uh, Mario Yamasaki. Uh, Yamasaki, yeah, yeah, yeah. The one from the UFC that Dana, right. Dana White can't stand. But he's doing look, this, look and, a fucking, and he gets hit by a fucking car. It was hysterical. I'm like, good, you deserve it. Jump out of your car, and I hope you get run the do fuck you know over. Do you know get hit by a car? Oh, yeah. No, do you know what we're talking about, though, Lenny? They jump out of the car and they do a dance and they I put saw their some hand. Porch monkey jumping on the dance. Is that <laughs> the one that you saw? Yeah, it, yes. well, there are a whole, that was in there are yeah. whole there are a whole bunch of videos. This is like the new thing, you know, that the the, the, the millennial dimwits are doing, where you get out of a moving car and you do this dance. I think it's a Drake song, right? I don't know. I, I think it, it's a Drake song. It's called the, What is In a My <laughs> Feelings Challenge. <laughs> And as the car is moving, you you do a dance in in like conjunction with the car moving. And why don't you do like I used to do when I car get my dick sucked by a street hooker, a crackhead while the car is moving. Have you heard about the hot water challenge? This new no, one. No, what not. is it? You squirt hot water no, up your ass. It, it's if a friend of yours, nice warm enema, is is asleep. You take a pot of oh, I did that, yeah. of, of boiling hot water and pour it on their fucking head. No. Yeah. 
Oh. And I read a story in the New York Post yesterday about a, a teenager who's got second degree burns now all over his face and back because his moron friend did yeah. the, the hot now water. He, now he looks like fucking Rocky from The Mask. Yeah. Bam, bam, Jason Cheers. Voorhees. What the fuck, man? Is it a porch monkey that did this? Act that the victim was. You see these the low, kids are fucking stupid, dude. Cool anything, tires. anything for a viral video. In their brain, but they're they were swallowing nutrition. fucking laundry detergent pods, right. man. Chewing on that shit. Why the fuck would you do that for likes? Yeah, that's some shit. I don't. Jason's not even dumb enough to do that shit, and he wants a viral <laughs> video so fucking bad. Jason did one of those things. He did the thing where you put the jar over your mouth and you rip it off to create suction and makes your lips your lips big for a few seconds. Oh no, he didn't. Yeah, he, he did. He didn't. No. Was it the Caitlyn Jenner challenge or some shit? Uh, well, we did, he the, did that a while ice ago. bucket challenge too. That fucking thing. Well, he begged me to do that. <laughs> when are we doing the ice bucket challenge, bro? I'm like, okay, come over, we'll do it. What kind of challenge you want to do, Leonard? Why don't you start a challenge? A viral challenge. I did. The tranny piss drinking challenge. <laughs> <laughs> See how much piss you can hold in your mouth and then lean your head back. Whatever happened to just like when, you know, when you're in college or your buddy's passed out drunk, whatever happened to just getting a shot? College? What's college mean these days? I'm, can Nothing. you let me finish? Doesn't mean shit. What, whatever really? happened to them just taking a Sharpie and writing on their face and shit? You're drawing a dick on their face. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you take a picture. Is that good enough? Now you got to pour hot fucking boiling water on yeah. someone. Great uh -huh. idea. Fucking morons. Now you'll go to jail too, stupid shit. And then they incriminate themselves by fucking filming yeah. it. Real smart. That's like the dopes who will drive by bus stops and shoot people with paintball guns and film it, of course, yeah. and get caught. Yeah. Real fucking smart. Or those knockout cowards killing that one bean eater. Oh, the knockout the challenge. That's another, that's another yeah, one. Yeah, sickening. Let somebody die. And they, 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 they've done that shit for a long time. Minutes. I don't think they do that anymore. Still out there. I've seen it? it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You like Disgusting. watching all that disturbing shit. That's just low intellect stuff. I just, you know, you got to look at it. You got to see what goes on out there. You got to keep your guard up. It's a must. Yeah, these kids nowadays. These kids man, think just... everyone's out for the the world's for their revolves around them and don't defend them, don't hurt them. Well, shit. In my feelings. Is that the name of the song, or is that just? I, I think so. I think it's the name of the song. People locked up in Brazilian prisons don't worry about feelings. They worry about getting their arm busted into twenty pieces with an iron bar while it's tied behind your back to a a, a, a steel cell, and they shake it up after they bust it. So yeah, you get those pieces. these assholes here fucking pouring hot boiling water yeah. on. So I can't believe that. I never even heard of that until I read the oh, article. Fuck. I was like, you got to be kidding Nothing. me. I mean, yeah, you put shaving cream in your buddy's hand and tickle their nose. Right. Okay, shit, exactly. like, that's okay. But you, you know. wake them up with an air horn type of thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Fart in somebody's face. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm an Italian girl in high school. Fart in my Either of you guys too warm? I'm going to lower the AC. A little bit. No, I'm always sweating. All right. I just hold on. Work out. You had an Italian girl fart in your face? Yeah. It's great. In the 80s. I had a girl fart in my face when we were 69, and she she was on top, and she fucking, I seen that little butthole perker up. I'm like, oh boy, she fucking so jumped, bad. she jumped right off me. I'm like, oh this man, she was so fucking embarrassed, dude. This I felt, I actually felt bad for her because where was she was tongue, obviously where was your tongue during this? Here comes 69. here comes the Lenny cycle. It was in her snatch. It was in her snatch, Leonard. You never thought to maybe stick it up there, so maybe she wouldn't have farted. No, well, like, that, a, like you just never cross. Oh, let me see. Plug. I can lick her ass and she won't fart. That's yeah. No, that thought never came across my mind. No, she had a cute First little butt. Yeah, yeah, she's got to have. A I didn't want to lick it. <laughs> she's got to have a nice round butt. Or sixty nine is out of the question, completely. Yeah, she or he? They're all she's. <laughs> never been with a he in my life. Whatever you say, oh, LGBTQ. Are we allowed to talk about that yet? I think the L and LBGTQ now stands for Lenny. I got to fill, <laughs> yeah, right. fill out some paperwork online, but we'll get to that week by week. Okay. I was going to say, if, if the lawyer gave the okay to talk about Oh, okay. We'll be giving it out week by week, but All I got to right. fill out the last step of paperwork. Because they always, every fucking... It's for the Equal Opportunity Commission. And mm -hmm. every, time we, every time we do a podcast, I make a post, they always ask about the situation. Yeah, because they they're maniacs. They're concerned about me as I'm concerned about them. Yeah. It's a sacred mission. Once, it's not, once you're allowed This to, isn't fun and games. Once you get the okay to talk about it, you will, basically. Yes. Okay. 
So don't worry, maniacs. You'll find out the full. Leonard will give the full rundown as soon as he can. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking terrible. You know, what was terrible was, which I was actually inspired by, was Adam McLeod. The photos of him in the hospital bed were almost brought a tear to my eye today. I was looking at it on mm -hmm. uh, on Instagram, and it just goes to show. You know, I didn't know an Irish grew fucking facial hair that young. <laughs> I didn't know he was not. Well, he said he was like twelve. Yeah. He had a fucking goatee. Yeah. What is he? What are you part? Of, nice, what are you part Mexican? McLeod? He, had a, he had a nice. <laughs> head of mom, hair. Mommy was a Mexican. <laughs> he had a nice head of hair, but <laughs> just to know that through that devastating injury, he's came back and he puts. Actually, I shouldn't say Mexican. They're not even that hairy. It's more like an Italian. He's an extremely Italians are fucking hairy, caring individual. Who puts others' needs before his own, and I admire that out of him. Those are such sweet words, Leonard. And I hopefully maybe you could we'll suck make some them off. Videos at the Olympia. <laughs> yeah, when we're at the Olympia, you can give him a nice blowjob. And who knows? I could, I could honestly see him knowing how good he is at what he does, having Christina at Olympia. You know her. what you should do is you should carry him around on your shoulders the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> That's yeah. Though. Actually, he should. If I can make a suggestion, oh, dress up go. like Winston Churchill, get the top hat and the, oh, fuck. a little monocle. Suit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can see him like Bottle that. Actually. Gin. And he could actually pull that off in Vegas. Yeah, he could. Bottle he could of gin. Could. Yeah. Winston like to suck down that booze. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait, man. We're going to have some fun. 13th to the 16th. Mm -hmm. We'll book it now. Jay Cutler will have his booth. He'll have a line. Of his supplements. You're not waiting on any lines. You're cutting every line, aren't you? You we'll just see. walk right up to every one of them. If that's what the maniacs want, that's what they're going to get. <laughs> you just stand That's why they need to throw in a little more for bail money, just in case. Uh, I said that on the last podcast. We might need yeah. it. Well, see, once we hit our goal, put the goal at 2,000, once they see that that's hit, they're not going to. Yeah, we, we hit it. We're, yeah. we, we're fine. It's all right. We'll, we'll, we'll sell some more shirts. If anybody see. wants to throw in a little extra buffet money for... <laughs> Yeah. and Lenny, that's all we need now is they're going to need it. Some spending money, but that's all right. Like I said, we'll do some shirt sales. You know, I'm not trying to ask for like, you know, they went above and beyond. They, you know, we're, we're we good. got that. We hit the number at the first fucking day. That was great, man. That's, that's enough. We didn't want to have to ask for anything, but unfortunately, you know, things are the way they are. It's all right. Yeah. I mean, I, no, it's hard to have extra and nobody, money nobody trying to be 700 pounds ripped. And nobody had a gun to anybody's head to fucking donate. If you mm -hmm. want to donate, donate. If you don't, you don't. It's fine. You're going to watch either way. <laughs> yeah. But at least we got the number and we're going. So. What do you think about that, Jay? He doesn't listen to this. Jay, oh, Jay Masters? Oh, <laughs> oh hey. It's his loss. He's going to regret he, it. He, he's, know, he's so going to regret it. It's, yeah, I'm shocked. I'm saddened. I'm disappointed. Yeah, man. I, he, I know. And I told him, I said, Jay, before he made that the final decision, I said, Jay, you have my word. You will have a good time. I fucking, I promise. He knows he'd have a good time. There's something behind the scenes that he's not telling us about. Right. He, he's, I'm telling you, he just, he's set in his ways, man. He's got his quirks. And we all do, but I mean, it's, you can't be that stubborn, man. The past, just you know, for, for three days. Yeah, just man. three days. Whatever hangups you have, set them aside for three days. Just let your guard down. That's what you do when you're on vacation. Right. It's like you take a vacation from yourself in a way. And you're whatever... Right. Quirks and idiosyncrasies you, know you have. I'm thinking he may run into PJ Braun. No, he does not. But him and PJ made they, peace. They made They're defenses. Yeah. yeah. There's nothing there. They. Uh, He's probably, he probably. You know, he, you know what happened is he saw Lobliner boxing, and I think he got nervous. <laughs> <laughs> Who the hell would get nervous after seeing him box? Did you see him? He <laughs> flopping around in the ring like a tuna sitting on the in the bottom of a fishing boat. <laughs> I didn't watch it. You didn't see that? Nah. No thanks. I could think of anything else. I'd, I'd, Anyone who watched Mark Lobliner in that boxing I'd match, rather, I'd rather go watch it would fucking be, grass grow. It would be scared, you know, probably afraid of their own shadow. Yeah, who knows? He knew we were going to break his balls. I just, like I said, I'm like, you're going to. Oh, I'd, he said, I'd rather work than follow Lenny around. So who do you she said you have to follow Lenny around? You know what? There's, the, there's a lot of us that are going to be there. People who have these internet or YouTube or online beefs. As stupid as it sounds just to say that, when they meet in person, look what happened when Bravo met Lobliner. They shook hands and they made videos about it. Look at what happened when you I met mean, Mel Chauncey. Right. 
He shook hands. He was actually a great guy. Very fucking nice. So to go to, to, to oh, Lenny's rolling his eyes. He was. He was great, man. He treated he, us like he, did, he treated dude. us great. We got VIP there. He yeah. let us. I mean, it, he didn't have to fucking do all that. What, Lenny? Say it. Lenny doesn't like his haircut. What's your source of contention, Lenny? You're rolling your eyes. Uh, now you're twitching. <laughs> He's scratching his balls. Come on, cough it out. I don't know what, uh, it's hard to say. What the fuck is wrong with you? You want to sing it? He looks you want to do another song? It? Should we cue up some music and you can... I think I'm done. I'm just belt out of bit, tune. a little bit distracted. I'm actually feeling like Jay left out that I wasn't invited to New York with Brad to find Christina. I'm sorry. This isn't a vacation with the Misfits. The Misfits vacation's in September. The Christina vacation. <laughs> We don't need you. You need to focus on your health for the next month and a half so we make it to the fucking Olympia. Thank you. That's another okay. thing I wanted and, to talk about tonight. And I don't need to bring you to New York so you can get fucking arrested up there for stalking. Okay? Nah. Nah. Yeah. Yeah, nah. Okay. But if, if it's that serious that every time somebody tries to reach out to her on your behalf and that, you know, they go ghost or want to talk about attorneys and all this shit, it's not, it's not a good look, Leonard. You don't want to risk any kind of... I just want legal ramifications for us. I know you do, but you, you gotta and hear her voice. And it's both. time to back off a little bit, man. We don't need oh. you getting in trouble. And well, I know well, if yeah. I brought you to New York for the weekend, you'd end up in trouble. Well, see, that's a great thing, impressive thing about Adam McLeod. He knows all the risk involved. Yet, like Winston Churchill, he fights on, fights you, on. You are man. fucking laying it. Well, the difference the between you and Adam McLeod is Adam McLeod is sending out emails and handling things professionally. You, on the other hand, would like pitch a tent outside the building Christina Broccolini lives Can in. You imagine make a big sign, Christina, <laughs> like you did to uh, what the hell was that girl's name in Tampa? Natasha. Oh, Natasha. Remember in the middle of the street. She sent a few posts and some skimpy outfits on Instagram the other day. About three of them. Oh yeah. Yeah, she's been doing One that on dogs. she's been doing that on Facebook lately too. A little. Oh, you guys follow her on there? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> a little bit of attention whoring going Christina, on. Christina, just like the time when you thought Christina was coming to World Gym and you sat there all fucking day. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I remember that. I did go home at a, ten o'clock uh, to watch Mystery Hunters. The trolls got him. And I told Sal, if she comes in, call me. I'll spike sprint up in a second. And you went back up there and waited all fucking day. The whole day yeah. to a close. Sitting took, at that little bar. I took the day off from work, but it was, I could just, I was thinking some big SUV would pull up and an entourage and she'd come out. And I couldn't cameras. believe you fell for Actually, that. Actually, I was going to call in. I could not fucking believe you fell for that. He was going to come 90 miles an hour to the gym. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I had my he camera locked and loaded. I'm, I'm, I'm glad you did, you're not getting sucked into the trolling on Instagram and buying into the bullshit on there. You haven't, right? Like with the direct messages, fake fucking people telling you bullshit like Jason does. Well, be honest, careful. The thrill of knowing she may have been there was incredible. Yeah, oh, good. What Brad was saying before, Lenny, please don't, <laughs> between now and middle of September, stay healthy. Don't. Well, after September, I'll drop dead. <laughs> <laughs> Why stay, are you laughing? Stay about healthy that? after then, too. It's like Brad. Stay alive until September, then go fuck yourself. <laughs> That's what I told him earlier. It's rough, dude. Like, make sure you stay alive for this. Yeah. After what I would do, what you got to do. But you know what you got to do. Know. You know your body. You know and Christine's going to do what she's you know. meant to do. Have you got your CPAP machine working better or no? I got a new tube, but it needs to be stronger, and you got to go through all this red tape. It's not strong enough. How do you get one? Can you just order one online? Well, you got to get a sleep study. You need a prescription? A, a doctor has to titrate it. You can't adjust it. And I got it done when I was dieting. I wish I knew a fucking You want to get it done when you're in your that. heaviest. So it can blow that air up your nose. It's not enough pressure. And the one Lou got me, that's state of the art. They've come a long way. Oh, so you got a new one. Lou has a new, the new one. I, mine's like six or seven years old and it's not strong enough. Fuck. When I die for shows, though, I don't even need what it. If, what if he were to like say go to his doctor and say the thing broke on him? You think he could get another one? He'd have, to turn, if the, He'd have if, to turn the other one in. So you got to turn oh, it in. Oh, you got to turn it in. Because uh, what happens is a lot of... Say my dog fucking shoot it up. I a threw doctor it out, said that a lot of fucking porch monkeys are using it to smoke crack. They put the mask on or smoke weed, and they got that tube, and they light it up. and <laughs> Vaporizer. Yeah. That's what they were asking for more. Give me your old one when you get a new one. Yeah. <laughs> Party at Brad's house. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 
I was actually going to ask that girl that I met at the bus stop to fart in it while I was on my nose. Because she, she let one leak out. And uh, Yeah, just like you were letting leak out the other night, right? Fucking <laughs> asshole. I can't help it. Sort of fart in it. It's crop dusting. I any, can't imagine that. Anyone ask any questions? Oh, I'm sure there's some comments on there. Check it out. So, someone named Sky Tits just don- <laughs> just donated $10. Thank Thanks. you, Sky Tits. See, if every maniac would donate $10, we'd be in business. Oh, we're, forget we're, it, we're, dude. We're we'd fucking... Sh- we'd be limousine riding the whole fucking time, let me tell you. <laughs> so, so Dale <laughs> fucking, Chance, obviously, listen, is if they're don- if personal they're, jet. Listen, whatever, jet out whatever they donate, we'll fucking, you know, we'll use it. Who gives a shit? We'll go to, you know... It's, for but, the what, but what what we what we use from the GoFundMe will be for Ments to be filmed. Correct. You know, yeah, we're not using it to fucking go buy ourselves new clothes. Oh, <laughs> right. We're not going to come home like Jason with, you know, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Mr. T starter yeah, let's kits. Go, let's go buy some Rolexes yeah. for all of we're us. We're not going to no, disappear I, in, in Hawaii for a month. Exactly. That's the shit that he would do. Who, Jason? Of course. <laughs> Fuck Fuck them. I got their money. I'm going to get a Rolex. Oh, <laughs> I'm getting he, a real he, Rolex. He's been laying it on real thick on Instagram. Boo. Today. Jason, I catch you with that cookie cutter shit. I'm going to rip it off your hand. Dude, he wears fucking jewelry to the gym, Leonard. He's got, oh, he's a minimum of two necklaces on. He's got a what watch. What good does that do you, He'll Jason? wear like three or four yeah, rings. Like, how is do that you impressing f- anybody? And if it is, you're trying to impress oh, the wrong speaking people. Speaking of, right here, Leonard. This this is the this is the video. Hold on, Chris Chris Bra, the real Chris Bra. Put it up. Watch this. Which what video is it? The what fucking. Street, what street is that on? I don't know. You actually saw that live? Watch this. That's the in my feelings fucking. Challenge. Oh, okay. Yeah, I did see that. Yeah, I did. That's see what it. that's what we were talking about. <laughs> I mean, you deserve to get run the fuck over uh, Doing who, that shit Who ran him over? Who the hell knows? I don't know, I didn't get their ID, Leonard Jackass Total moron That's what these people are now doing now, It'll last another week and then use, it will I stop. use that term loosely, people And then they'll start doing something yeah, else no shit. How about human filth? You hear that, Adam Pollard? He agrees with me Human filth Adam Pollard's ghost now mm-hmm. I guess he's smartened up yeah, right. <laughs> Can't escape the piss. There's right. no escaping the piss. Speaking of piss, Vera's tasted good. Huh. Oh, Hector? <laughs> I refuse to refer oh, to that no. as Vera. No, if we were alone, as nasty as she was, we'd have a good time. She's nasty and dirty, does everything. She was complaining about you sweating. Yeah, fuck her. Yeah. Or him, whatever, the shin. I don't want to touch you. You're sweaty. All of them. Remember that? The other two had me uh, take a shower. Actually, the one gave me a shower, Jessica. Gave you gave me a, bath. a shower. Gave me a shower, yeah. Jessica, which one was that? Okay. Went, All right. Went to her house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She was a good one. I remember. She was great until she answered the door in the fishnets. The little fucking nephews are coming in from school with their book bags. And she just did this big thing between her legs and a crotchless fishnets with these big tits. Go next door, I'll be a half an hour. What a fucking sight. Oh, I could a, not believe it. Those kids are scarred for life. Yeah. What the fuck? DC. She was a sweetie, I tell you what. Good kisser and everything. Tongue was down my throat. She liked my teeth. I felt great. Delicious. Okay. That's enough tranny talk for tonight. You get turned on, Brad? No, Leonard, that doesn't <laughs> turn I like how Jay Master says that the podcast are turned into nothing but three hours of tranny talk. That's a Freudian slip, Jay. You wish they were three yeah, hours. Then don't listen. I've actually come to a conclusion that Jay has a man crush on Brad. Oh, uh, there we go. He's called me many times oh, yeah. fucking drunk. I'm a sucker cock. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But well, and he, he, claims he, doesn't re- he claims he doesn't remember the next day. Well, admit it. He said it the other night when we were at Bruiser when he was in town. Remember he made a remark like that? We were doing a live stream. Jay probably g- scrolls across gay porn, something which I don't do. I think Jay thinks about Brad when he masturbates. Oh, my Brad God. has that Please look at those say guys. That. Say it isn't so, Jay. Clips. Wearing the leather and the spikes, the tattoos. They got the same <laughs> yeah. body, the same look. As- In fact, Brad could enter B- uh, BNDS&M gay porn right now and make a fortune. 
come down. Beating guys up, and they beat him up bad. Brad with his punches. Imagine him punching guys in the nuts. No, I'm not imagining that. I'll punch you in the fucking nuts. <laughs> I'll punch Jay in the nuts if he comes near me. The streets of Derry Beach could be paved in gold for you. Yeah, okay, buddy. <laughs> Keep dreaming. Well, Jay's dreaming, so. If Backpage still existed, we can start setting up some ads now ahead of time. Set up some appointments. He'd make a fortune. Yeah. Get the leather and the spikes. Have Brad come in wearing a fucking... Here we we're riding a Harley, <laughs> just <laughs> wearing started, wearing great. chaps and no pants, <laughs> leather chaps. Uh, I'm glad I'm part of your fantasy, Leonard. You sick fuck. Knee wraps. Nope. Yeah, I can see those sick fucks. Like, yeah, all wrapped Here we up. Go. Here we go. Here comes Savage Jono and fucking Lenny Purse. What's Brad, last direction? Brad puts on the weightlifting gloves to do fist fucking videos. What's that thing called? The slingshot you bench with? <laughs> use that to, to tether yourself? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm sure people have tried it. You, use it as a restraint. <laughs> <laughs> Jay is about to come. Keep talking about it, Leonard. He's jerking off right now. Yeah, he's listening to uh, this. You got, you got to finish him off. Uh, oh. Right into his jug. Of he'll, piss. he'll want me to put cigarettes out on his tits. Ah, oh, he went. <laughs> uh, I understand you gave him a business the other day. You really dressed him down in front of your girl on the phone. What's that? Word has it that you really gave Jay Masters the business on the phone. And gave him a dressing down, and your girl wasn't turned on by it. Oh, she was, uh, you know, silent because I was yelling at him for being such a fucking stubborn asshole. It pissed me she off. She probably wants you to yell at her like it that. It would have been fun to have him there, and it's just, it, it, it's, it's ridiculous that, you know. Uh, whatever, I'm done talking he, about he it. He never wanted to go to begin with. Well, that, we, that's, and you know he, what? It's, it's frustrating only, be, but he just we, we all said up. to each other we knew he was he was going to flake out anyway, but. Uh, but when we talked, what pissed me off is the day before we talked to him and he gave us his commitment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yep. And then the next day, uh, all these line of excuses, yep. bullshit scenarios. Oh, what? I'm not doing this. I'm not going. I'm not going to be out till three a.m. following Lenny around because he wants to go suck dick. <laughs> you know, <laughs> like who said you have to? Man? <laughs> like he was under the impression that you were going to be handcuffed to him you know like he had to do whatever what? you did it did, yeah, we, I said that I said you don't have to we're not going to be a sit at the bar the and watch the game and drink exactly do we you can all do our own thing but we didn't we didn't say anything like oh we got to bring Jay now we got to babysit Pooh Bear when he gets and fucking hammered Jay yeah. naked sucking tranny's dicks that's oh my god <laughs> yeah that's what he kind of thought Brad's yeah. going to slap the cuffs on him well I said <laughs> you know, what, 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 what triggered him was that text that I was that I sent you guys my back and forth with my buddy out there, and I, you know, told them we're coming yeah. and this and that. Yeah. And that I said, but Lenny's. You're right. Need, that I, is when it started. Right. You're I exactly said I want right. you to take Lenny. You have to take Lenny training, honey. He's like, great. I have. I know the best spots. Great. Yeah. Can't wait. Yeah. He's like, I know. You'll like this guy. He's a fucking. <laughs> he's yeah, crazy. Man. The yeah. walk on it on a street scene like that could be thrilling. Yeah. So once I put once I put that in the group text, that's when Jay's, mm -hmm. you know. Bing, bing, bing. That flipped the switch right. in his head. That doesn't mean you have to go, Jay. You could have stayed at the hotel or you could go. I mean, right. fuck. 10,000 different things could do. Yeah. It's crazy. It's just crazy. And you know what's also crazy? You know how he's sort of into these like older bodybuilding chicks? You know how many of them are going to oh be there? Oh my God, no shit. Exactly. And he would have been in fucking heaven. Yeah. And he too. declined it. Speaking of older bodybuilding chicks, anybody approached Carla Dunlop this week? Have you seen, seen her? Haven't seen her. Haven't seen her. I've been going to Boca. He's been going to Delray. I went to Delray yesterday. Today's Tuesday. I went to West Boca today because I was off and I had to get a haircut and my car fucking detailed and all that shit. I ran over a fucking... <laughs> Fucking gallon burst open of white paint in the road, and I had no time to fucking switch. I couldn't switch lanes because there was someone next to me. And his fucking, car is black. Yeah, I yeah. I swerved a I, oh dude, I, I swerved a little bit. I was going to work, so I couldn't like not go to work to go wash my fucking car so off. So you had to sit that let that shit drain. Yeah, it went on the right side of the tire and just sprayed all up the side of the fucking car. Were you late for work? <sighs> no. Nah, what am I gonna do? I just kept going. So it seems I, like sometimes I see you and sometimes I don't. Anymore. Well, because Monday I started at 8 and the rest of the week I started at 8.30. I was on the phone with him this morning when he was yelling at you. He goes, oh, I see Lenny. Hold on. <laughs> you gorilla. <laughs> yeah, yesterday. Every Monday. Oh, I was yesterday. Because that's, that's when right. you're going to the bus. I'm sorry I couldn't go by that place today. I didn't oh, have time. Okay. I got hung up. Change. Yeah. Bus passes it for a month. Yeah. Uh, you want to read some 
Were there any questions or comments? We're representing Dave tonight. I had a funny incident happen to me in the men's room of the All You Can Eat Buffet with a little Guatemalan boy. Oh, Leonard. Uh, boy, uh, Leonard? Yeah, he was got out of the stall. He Careful. was washing his hands. Careful. There was two sinks. He had on a pair of jeans, a nice shirt, you know, really cute kid, you know, the Guatemalan features. And he was on his tiptoes washing his hands. He had the Chuck Taylor shoes on. And I sort of looked at him and thought, that's a cute kid, whatever. So I'm washing my hands next to him. Then he stops and he's looking around for paper towels. And I guess he didn't see him. He looks at me and he comes up to the side of my shorts, starts wiping his hands off on the side of my shorts and walks out of the men's room. Like, what the fuck? You're his fucking t towel. Yeah. It's like, <laughs> his hands are dirtier now. After <laughs> yeah. yeah. Just yeah. Lost your hand. Hell? Oh, my God. <laughs> Little kids don't give a fuck. Yeah, he man. looked around. He oh, figure he's wiping on my fucking. Yeah, you're, a, you're a gentle giant. You wouldn't hurt him. What are Lenny's thoughts on Louis Simmons? He doesn't believe in training schedules. He just decides what he's doing that morning. I think he thinks he's a know-it-all. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody that gets there is already a world champion. Maybe he'll get them better at the one rep powerlifting, but in the real world, he's just thinks he's his way or the highway and when i'm his age i'll be three times as big as him how old is he 70 how is he i haven't really i i have not watched any of his shit i don't watch much he was on the rogan podcast and the strange thing was rogan had to go to his gym yeah and all the people are like commenting see that's mad respect or whatever is rogan it, it, i think you're mediocre your guests are what make your show but other than that if I was on your show, you'd be want to cancel it real quick because I make you look like the simpleton you are. Oh wow! <laughs> well, that, that that is what makes his show. He doesn't do shows by himself. He's another know-it-all, tough guy. Kia, know it all. Thoughts on Jane suing PJ for eight buck? I think that was a meme. Yeah, that was on. just come on. You don't yeah, don't believe that. It's garbage. Lenny, do you regret letting your gut get so out of control? That's my claim to fame of the Tom Platts of abs. I wish I regret it's not as twice as big and twice as hard. So that's a no. As does my whole body. And if I like to bring up, uh, we had a three deaths of pro wrestlers the past couple of days. Actually, it was on the same. Someone day. just wrote a comment here. Nikolai Volkov died? Yes, he was Croatian like myself. It was his gimmick. Brickhouse Brown and the son of Jerry Lawler, Brian Christopher. He hanged himself in a yes, prison Yes, and there's so more to it. What was out. he doing? What was, what was he in jail for? He was evading police on a D. He had a bunch of DUIs on his record. Uh, and he probably thought he's going to do some prison time. So, What do you want? Like suicide by police or some shit? Oh, he left. He fled. Made a, a What is that called? There's a term for that, right? What? Suicide by cop. Suicide by cop. That's the term for it? There's also one called suicide by postal worker. <laughs> <laughs> And if you cut Brad off, you'll find out why they call it that. Oh, Leonard, please. <laughs> Brad doesn't shoot people when he's on the road. Brad gets shot at. <laughs> yeah, literally. Are you guys aware of the popular young fitness YouTubers like Christian Guzman and Chris Jones? How involved are you guys in the rest of the game? Never heard or, of her. Or not. And it, They're fucking stupid if you ask me. Don't know what i do without your content. Thanks, Misfits. I've heard of Chris Jones. The other one, I don't know. I don't watch. To me, you better be a though. freak, or I'm not interested. Well, see, you know, Jason likes to call all oh, cookie cutter YouTuber. I'm sure a lot of them, they have the popularity and they make the money they can because they stay politically correct. You know, they don't, they don't push the envelope. They don't say how they really feel about shit. I'm, our sure, president, I'm sure once the camera's not on them, they're different people. Our president right. shows. I, I would almost absolutely. fucking bet that. Our great president shows what politically correct does. It makes you a loser and a nobody. Here's a good question for me. 2020, Trump. Oh, he's getting reelected. You don't have of to course, worry about that's... that. You don't have to worry about that. If you had to choose between getting married or the last 10 years of your life taken away, which would you choose? I would choose the last 10 years of my life taken <laughs> away. I don't, I don't believe in signing a legally binding contract with another human being, period. That has no advantage to you, yeah. Not right. for a man, no, no. never. Well, it's, Maybe unless, it, unless you find a rich woman. There's a reason for that. The breakup of the country was the Soviet KGB guy said that 40 years ago. What's that? About how they're going to break up the United States, and it's already almost finished. Break up the family. Break up the country. <laughs> Put the women 
put the feminists first, give the women the power, take a man's job? Well, because no matter what, even, you know, I, I think in every state it's like this. When you're married and you get divorced, the woman's getting half of your shit, no matter if she had fucking a gangbang with, with 20 dudes in the middle of your living room in front of your fucking kids. Yeah, she's a mud She's shark. getting half of your shit. Correct. You know? It's fucking ridiculous. Why don't, why don't the feminists get those laws fucking changed? Ah, good question. Feminism is one of the most evil things that ever came in this country. Well, it's more... It's not bad, but it... It it's didn't start bad. out as bad. Now it is. It's very bad. It's, it's extreme feminism, I think you would call it. When they well, want the power. Ne- right. Extreme feminism has led to the term toxic masculinity in this country. And I think Jay Masters once made a great point in one of his live streams. What feminism used to be is no longer what femini- feminism is now. Feminism now is women dressed up as vaginas going to rallies. You know, with green hair and piercings all over their face. That is not feminism. It's just not. Um, but yeah, but getting back to Is that to the, what Jay going to do at Olympia weekend? What? Dress up like a vagina and put piercings <laughs> on him and green hair? <laughs> he fit right into Vegas. <laughs> Too bad, Jay. Oh, here's a good one for you and me, Brad. Oh, oh J- Jesus. Would you rather drink... Hector's piss. It does say Vera, but I'm correcting the person. Would you dra- Would you rather drink Hector's piss or live with Jason? For how long would we have to live with him? And how much piss would we have to drink? I tell you what, she could have pissed for eternity. It was that good, tasty. Can the piss be really, 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 really watered down? Like she drank eight gallons of water. I think the cocaine watered it down for. Her. <laughs> yeah, we, we, th- that question needs to be a little more. <laughs> <laughs> that question needs a few more uh-huh. specifics. I was ready for it to take a dump on me, but but I, uh, well, usually cocaine will send you right to the shitter. If if you want an answer, the motherfuckers cut it with baby laxative. Speaking from experience, there, Brad. No, I don't have any idea about that. If you, <laughs> Aaron, Aaron Pedraza, nineteen ninety three. If you absolutely want an answer, the answer would be live with Jason. Yeah. Uh, let's Unfortunately, see. reluctantly, but we'd have to have a time to, like live with Jason for what a week, a month, a year, a day. We, you know. Oh, here's a good one. I got a question for Brad. Uh-huh. If you're a betting man, what comes first? Jay Masters quitting his malt liquor consumption, Jason fuck Jason Genova getting shredded, or Big Lenny stops fantasizing about trannies. <sighs> That's tough, man. Well, I will say Jay quitting malt liquor because then he could just drink regular <clears throat> beer. <laughs> Yeah, that's true. It should say alcohol. Yeah. Any kind of alcohol consumption, it should say. Jay cannot drink if he's here in town. As soon as he gets back on the road and he's in his truck, you know, in the middle of the night, lonely and bored, I think that's when... He does it out of boredom. He said it. correct. I don't know why you just don't go to sleep. You wouldn't be so bored, Jay. If you come to the Olympia, you might have something to do. (laughs) Yeah. Maybe he can get funding elsewhere. Maybe one of the maniacs will reach out to him and send him some dough to go. But he still won't go. He's just, there's something, it's, I don't know. I, I don't think he's wants to be in that kind of social setting, actually. Well, I told him, I said, you don't have to feel obligated to do everything with us. I mean, some shit, yeah. If, if the maniacs are paying for you to go, you're going to be, you know. I did. Brad, we both know that was yeah, just an excuse to get out of the trip. Know, he never wanted to go. He got sucked into the hype of us talking about it. Now he'll just make fun of us while we're there. That, and that's, that's, all right. that's fine. That's fine. He never wanted to go in the first place. Uh, question for Andrew. Is there any advice you can give a 17-year-old going into their first year of college? Yes. Number one, stay out of debt. If you can't afford it, don't buy it. Oh, although if you're going to college, you might be accumulating um what the fuck's it called? School student loan debt. Right. Um, stay out of serious relationships. Which uh, which one are you reading? Right here, Matthew Robinson or Ro- Robinson. This, this long one is another from a twenty year old who wants some life advice from each of us. Oh, is it? Yeah. What what part, uh, what have you learned? Uh, Matthew, I'd say avoid serious relationships. Focus on your career. Focus on what it is you want to do to make money, and and how you want to spend your life professionally. Don't even think about marriage or having children Smash until Smash and dash. Correct. Enjoy yourself. Have fun. Use protection. Don't get anybody pregnant. But focus on yourself and your career. And don't even consider serious relationships or marriage or having children for at least another 
15 years. Be selfish. Correct. This is your time. You're only 17. You have so much to learn about yourself and life and the man you're going to become because you don't want to have regrets down the road. I have regrets. I wish I had done things differently when I was your age and I didn't. I should have gone to medical school and I didn't. I fucked up. Listen, anyone that says they don't have any regrets is full of shit. Yep. A hundred percent. I can't. There's no fucking way that pe- people. Oh, I don't regret anything because I wouldn't be here if I. If it. No, no, no. And also, you can go back and think. There is plenty of regrets every one of us has fucking had. And one more thing, Matthew. The most important word you can learn in life to say no. Learn how Just to say, say no. Learn how to say no to people. Don't be a yes man. Don't be afraid to tell people no. It's called being a leader, not a follower. Period. If you say no to the right people in life, you'll go very, very far. That's all I can tell you. I can say a lot more, but I'll keep it it short. Um, What do you say, Leonard? Don't be a cookie cutter, which sums up a lot of what Andrew just reiterated. What kind of woman do Prince Andrew prefer? Um, Ethnic, primarily a Latina woman. He never talks about his relationships and what red red flags he has encountered. I've encountered plenty of... um, uh, he has said that his dad taught him. I'm reading this. Oh, let's hear. I said my father taught me how to intimidate people. When did I ever say that? I don't remember. When did I ever say my no, father? Leonard. T- said, Leonard. Oh, said Lenny. That. Okay, but this question is for me. Uh, <laughs> right. Oh, there are plenty of red flags. You just have to learn how to spot them. Um, well, the the thing, and when you spot a red flag, acknowledge it and fucking run for right. the hills as soon as you see that mask start to slowly come off a chick's face run for the hills because it only gets worse the the best part of any relationship is always the first three months maybe the first four months that's when the man and the woman they always put their best foot forward no one argues you always say the right things you always laugh at the other person's jokes everything is great Everyone's walking on eggshells to, you know, do the right thing. It was, then, it was, it was either, I think it was, I'm pretty sure it was Chris Rock's stand up when he said at the beginning, you're dating the representative. Correct. On her best behavior. That's yeah, great. It's a perfect way you of know? putting it. And then after three or four months. You get comfortable and then, ah, you start, okay. yeah, you start noticing little red flags, things changing. Lenny, you're, you just ruptured my eardrum. Sorry about that. <laughs> Would you have boogers on the fucking thing? What are you doing? It's like a piece of tape. No, that was Kiera Slobber. It's still on there. <laughs> Let me see what else we got. I wish it was Vera Slobber. I like when I get asked questions. Yeah, no, these are pretty good. Fucking Cedric up in the comment section. Has Lenny ever performed the Alabama Hot Pocket? What the hell is that? You gotta go. <laughs> Google it. <laughs> go on. Urban, Urban, Dictionary. Urban Dictionary. Hold on. I've never heard of that, but I, I, it's gotta oh, be yeah. fun. It's gotta <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be funny. <laughs> An Alabama hot pocket. Yeah, you look it up. Put more viruses on your phone. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Lenny, I will be at my mom's this weekend. I can pick you up at the gym. You can wear your posing trumps. Well, now he wants to hang out with you, though, huh? He'll hang out with you here, but he can't yeah, hang out yeah, with Alabama you in Vegas. Exactly. According to the online slang dictionary. The sexual act of defecating into a vagina and proceeding to have intercourse with the feces filled vagina. That is fucking disgusting. <laughs> it is fucking. <laughs> First of all, why would a woman do that? She's going to get vaginosis or whatever oh, it's God called. That infection, dude. So in other Are words, you kidding? I would shit into the vagina or she would shit into her vagina. How's she shit in her own pussy? She can smear well, it in. Dude, Dale Chance shit you, lo- the vagina. you know how to work that on your that Siri thing? That's great. Simple. That's fucking great, but you can't fucking nah. post shit on Instagram. You fucking lazy <laughs> cocksucker. Grape Gorilla, there's your shout out. My name is. So in other words, they, they'll ban <laughs> Porch Monkey, but this filth, this filthy. She'll go into detail. So have you ever describing done describing this filthy act? In, in so the, have you ever performed it, Leonard? No. Fucking a shit-filled vagina. I jerked myself off with shit. I girl shit on me, and she jerked me off, and. Oh God! Dude. Oh God! Oh, yeah, imagine. Oh, come on! All right, next question. <laughs> I Please. busted a nice nut with it too, man. It felt great, nice and squishy and stinky. Please take Lenny to the Heart Attack Cafe on Fremont. They have a scale in front of the restaurant, and if you're 350 pounds or more, you eat free. Outstanding, CJ. See what you're missing. I'm gonna gain a few pounds. 
Yes, Fremont Street. That's where we're going. I'm going to increase the food, increase the dosages for the for the. Stop it, man! We don't need you dropping dead before we get there. Ask Big Lenny, how does he feel about intermittent fasting combined with the keto diet? <laughs> That's a good thing if you want to get your blood sugar yeah. down without medication. If I were to stop using insulin, I would have to go on that fast and a keto diet to readjust my body, and I think it could be done. Question for Brett. I love how they call me yeah. Brett. Actually, it should be Bard. How do we know you aren't going to spend the Olympia money on a trip to Woodstock to smoke dope <laughs> with your buddies? <laughs> that money is for Kalora and Leonard, okay? Oh, wow. This, this just blew my fucking mind. Please comment on this misfit conspiracy. I know the real reason... Oh, I'm getting a headache. I'm not wearing my glasses here. I know the real reason why Jason gets mad every time you mention his father, Gary. It's the Ace Ventura, Lois Einhorn scenario. Gary is Jane. Jane is Gary. Jason is the product of asexual hermaphrodite reproduction. Oh. That perfectly explains how someone could have had sex with Jane. That also explains why Jason said that the only time he masturbates is when he's having sex. <laughs> I, want, I want to smoke with that person smoke, too. Yeah, no shit. Jesus. I, hey, but Gary, who, who, who that am I to say that it's is, not true? Ga Gary Genova's his biological father, though, right? That's what the maniacs say. Uh, you, you would think I would know more about this shit, but I really don't. Yeah, because we don't ask Jane shit. No, I, I don't really care. No. For people who ask me, I, I don't know what, who, who is. What are you looking at, Leonard? You're very. Yeah. What are you looking at? Let me see what you're. Turn the phone around. Turn the fucking phone around. I want to see what you're looking at, Leonard. Turn it around. Ah, don't touch it. Turn it around. I want to see what you're looking at. I can't. I'm going to check your Come history, on, motherfucker. What are you looking Turn at? Turn around. Look at this sick motherfucker. You wonder why you have bugs in the he's, phone, he's Leonard. starting to twitch. That should tell you everything. Turn that off. You can't do it. All right, we're going to have to end this if you're going to be on the phone looking at trannies. No, it's not trannies. It's worse. What, what are you looking up? Are you looking up pictures of Alabama Hot Pockets? Did you, like, Google image search it? <laughs> Leonard, what is it? Grab his phone, Brad. Why are these numbers are? Who are these people calling this phone? I don't know who it is. I don't know either. That's not the phone number everybody's got. That's the got. smartphone. Well, to be honest, That's I was trying to get phone. three guys, one hammer, and force Brad to watch it, which he needs to look at it. That's okay. Who all from the Misfits are going to be at the Big O? Well, confirmed right now is me, Lenny, Andrew, and Andrew. Nate. And peripherally, Nate is probably going... Um, Lou's considering going. Johnny Bravo is going. Um, Adam McLeod is going. Uh, is Dale confirmed with with uh, Cornelius? I told Dale I would let him know when we book. Okay. Dale's being on a private jet and flying right into Vegas. And Bob, did you see that meme of him in the little fucking toy airplane? Oh, God. It's like a little kid's toy. It's got his Oh, head. no, I did see it. <laughs> I did see it. <laughs> Chance Airline. <laughs> oh, and by the way, anyone who is planning on going there, message me or Brad. We, we make ourselves available to anyone. Anyone who's ever come to Delray Beach, they'll tell you. We're, we're available to anyone and everyone. So message me, message Brad, and we'll all get together. Have a good time. Even porch monkeys, it's no offense. It's not your fault you were born black. <laughs> oh, my God. It's a porch monkey attitude. It's not anybody's fault they were born where they were born or how they were no, born or they, what. There's you know? a t-shirt idea Absolutely with your not. face on it, Lenny. Yeah. <laughs> it's not your fault you're born black. Yeah. <laughs> Nobody's born gay. You know. It's not my fault I was born this way. You don't think people are born gay? Absolutely not. Oh, They're not born straight. He did that. He, he's so They're not born straight he, either. That's a learned behavior. That's bullshit. No, Leonard. Lenny. How many gay fucking men and gay women have no. children that grow up not gay? Explain well, they that. They don't learn it from their parents. They'll learn it for somebody else. Uh-huh. Okay. Okay. Neighbors. <sighs> that's a bit, stop it. Stop it. You're not gay. that stupid. Yes, Neighbors. they are. Yes, they are. Yes, they are. Let's see what the maniacs say about that. The fucking dude. You're going to get trashed. What kind of, what don't give a on. shit. What you're going to get trashed because you're wrong. Why would a man decide... To like another man's hairy ass. Exactly. Some kind of perversion. No. No. It's... it's no. Some kind of perversion. Just no. like certain people have different behaviors. Some people are psychopaths. Some people are not. Some people could say it's from chemical imbalances. They could say different chromosomes. That's irrelevant. I mean, they did studies where they were given facts. Well, are a lot of the, you know... Sick serial killers, you know, the ones that are 
killing cats and shit when they're little kids and yeah they always start out on animals well not always but they'll usually start out killing animals and then they'll dude it's, so, it's evolve being mis fucking wired man it's just like meant to well it's because of the act of killing the animal they got the rush of it that's why you don't kill animals so then you don't possibly develop those perversions why is it that a lot of uh, homosexuals were supposedly molested too a lot of them so Flagler Beach <laughs> everything's a learned behavior learned perversion I mean, no one's going to come out perfect. If I want to look at the term cookie cutter, everyone's going to have perfect this, perfect that. That's what life's about. There's no such thing as perfect. There's no such thing as perfect, but you have to deal with it and try to overcome these things. If, you, if a chick's got a perfect ass, a lot of do the time the rest of her body isn't perfect. Do I think homosexuals very few. should be executed? No. But, you know, that's... They weren't born like that. They, something happened along the way where they became attracted this to is it. A, this, was I born? Go, we're just going to go. Was I born and say like it. in trannies? Fuck no. But the first time I saw them downtown Pittsburgh in the eighties with the big hair and the leather boots. All right, let me ask you a question. Think of, think of the gayest person you can think of. Let's say Nathan Lane, the actor, right? Nathan Figs. <laughs> I knew no. that was coming. Nathan Lane, right? Never heard it, of her. You ever see the movie The Birdcage? I think he started that with Robin Williams. He was uh, Harvey Firestein, another one who's flaming. Let's say you took these people, right, who are as adults in their 40s or 50s, whatever the case, and you were to go back in time and completely change the environment in which they grew up, have them grow up on the other side of the planet with like some Icelandic family. You think those men who are gay might possibly be straight? Without a doubt. Really? Well, no doubt in my mind. There was something in their upbringing that made them like that. I don't know, man. Something clicked. Something happened. I, I disagree. Well. Well, let me ask you another question. Think of someone like Jeffrey Dahmer or John Wayne Gacy, a, a serial killer. If you took that serial killer and raised that serial killer on the other side of the Charles planet. Charles Manson. Charles Manson, whoever. He never really killed anybody. That's true. Son of Sam. And, and you had that adult who grew up to be a serial killer raised in a completely different household on the other side of the planet in Bucharest, Romania, do you think that person may not grow up to be a sick fuck serial killer? Most likely, yes. I really believe that. Hmm. Particularly in the case so of it, Ted Bundy. He saw some Jeffrey Dahmer. So nurture, he, saw, he came across snuff porn. So in the nurture versus nature debate, you side with nurture. Yes, without a doubt. So you think by Dahmer that, came across snuff porn. And you think As that should you money. think that triggered something in their mind? Yes. To make them want to do that. Yes. I mean the pornography that I came across in the woods triggered something in my mind that I'm fighting to this day. I saw a black girl with a big afro and big tits down at Riverside Park in the wood, you know, in the uh, So that's why you're so park. that's why you're attracted to black women now. Yeah, because Vanessa that was Del the first Rio, who was considered black at the time. I saw her very explicit photos. Yeah. First I started liking Italian women. I had an older uh, kids. I yeah, we heard, yeah, yeah. We went and showered with me, and I saw this huge bush. <laughs> huge face to face. bush. Bush is coming back. <laughs> no uh, thanks. It triggered something. No thanks. <laughs> Not my bedroom. This guy, at Flagler Beach Ryan, asked, tell us about each of you born, raised, how you ended up in Florida. I think we've talked about that yeah. many times. You're from Pittsburgh, Oakmont. You're from Manhattan. Yeah, I, yeah. from I grew Force. up down here. My father divorced my mother, and we had... My father's brother, who was a school teacher at FAU in Boca High, and his wife told her to come down and get a fresh start. But it wasn't a good move on her part. Left a nice area, left people that really cared about her. Well, then you wouldn't end up here. Down here, she got people used her left and right. I'm, I'm still thinking about the Alabama Hot Pocket. Ugh. It's so fucking and how disgusting. This idiot can say a relic that? is some kind of legitimate thing. Who would what do idiot? that? What, what, what idiot? Google, the oh. Google voice, <laughs> the given Google the credibility, voice. and if I say porch monkey, I hear that something's banned. What's wrong with this world? Is that your idea, Zuckerberg? Am I going to call you out for allowing this filthy, oh, because you probably do it, Mark. <laughs> <laughs> you don't fuck a vagina, I heard, unless there's shit in it. Oh, oh. He's married to an Asian woman, isn't yeah. he? Yeah. Like, oh, yeah, those kinky fucks. I heard what those Japanese women do. They they'll walk the street at 80 years old if they have to. And no qualms about it. <laughs> they also are known in the past, if the son gets good grades uh, at school, their mother sucks them off. 
Well, come what? on. You, uh, how can you make that's that a fact kind of too. fucking Look statement? It up. Wait, which specific? Japanese tradition. Japanese. If a young man gets good grades, his mother sucks him off. Confirm that one, Nate. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, I, if I would have known that, I, I would have got good grades so Nate could suck me off. <laughs> <laughs> With his little fat rear end, he might have he been a good tranny, Nate. Did you see the picture he posted? He posted a picture of himself when he was a little kid. Yeah, <laughs> scary look on his face, kind of like a a young Jay Masters. I was waiting for the maniacs to to Photoshop it onto a little UNICEF box. <laughs> <laughs> Remember when you were a kid and you have to when you went around for oh, Halloween yeah. trick or treating to put pennies in it? Oh yeah. So someone's got to Photoshop that picture of Nate on a UNICEF box, or you know, feed the children. Yeah. <laughs> More like feed the executives. Looking back, was a scam. Yeah, hell yeah, no shit. Feed them some birth control of some type. Yeah, that's some, self, some re- self-responsibility. That might help the situation in places uh, around the world. Never ceases to amaze me when you're starving and there's lack of clean water that you're pumping out babies. Don't get it. Overpopulation. And here's able-bodied young men like myself. Who has finds all kind of difficulties to have a family in this country. You know what the world needs right now more than anything else? A 10-year moratorium on reproduction. For 10 years, there should be no more making babies. At least for the <laughs> continent of Africa. There's Anywhere. There's enough fucking people. Yeah, that's for sure. The, the pl- <laughs> this planet is becoming way too overpopulated. A 10-year moratorium. Let the fucking uh, uh, ecological... What, what are they? It's got, they, let the ecosystem... Well, that, that's why we have world wars. Right. Let it let the ecosystem get itself back up to speed a little bit before we just destroy the planet. Look at World War II. I think there was estimated forty to fifty million people on this earth lost their life. World War One, about 25, 30 million. That's what world wars are for. So we need another war, Leonard? I got one for you. This guy Our men are built Listen. are made for war. That's why you're here. Men aren't supposed to be farmers, sitting at a desk. Like you know who are driving trucks, he should be driving. <laughs> he should be driving a tank. We need we or need a submarine, not a truck. And I won't mention any names. Truck drivers are the backbone of this country, though. They are more like the butthole. Of the country. <laughs> There's a shortage of truck drivers now. Yeah, I. That's. What do you, what do you got there? Good question. Yeah, this guy Chris Wright, three eighty eight, and he's not a troll. This guy's all right. He doesn't, you know, he doesn't say f- too much fucked up shit. Please ask Lenny if he appreciates the maniacs donating to him. How come he doesn't mop the fucking floor if that's all it needs? If he expects us to keep giving him money, he has to do his part. I'm not hating on him at all. Just want him to do what he says. He was. I'm doing do. my part as a sacred mission of fighting cookie cutters around the world and cowardice. Mopping the floor just goes to show you. It really doesn't need to be done. It's not a priority. Mopping up fucking cookie cutters into a heap is what needs to be done. I'll take a mop to the Olympia if I have to and mop that's that place up. That's not what he was asking, but that's all right. Ask Lenny if, <laughs> if he can give us some lessons on how to intimidate people. I've heard him say his dad taught him how to intimidate people. I'm just wondering, well, if, you're on a- just wondering if he could give up a detailed explanation on how to. Well, I mean, if you're referring to intimidate people and... Where the workplace, the gym, or on a football field, I can tell you, on a football field, first of all, you don't make eye contact with anybody, any opponent, even a teammate. You keep your mouth shut. You go 120% until that, that ball snapped or that whistle's blown, and you hit that person as hard as you can, say, if you're blocking them or tackling, and you hustle as 110%, knock somebody down, don't say nothing, don't pick up the other teammate, don't even pick up your own teammate. Push him down, don't say a fucking word to him. Do that the first half, and then you can maybe talk shit the second half. But let them know that you're you're like a robot out there. And always keep quiet. When you get locked up, you don't look around. Don't make eye contact. If you're your first night in jail, you keep your eyes down. You, you don't make any eye contact. People talk to you. I don't care if it's a CEO. They want to see you. Let them call you two and three times. Well, let me ask you a question, Lenny. <clears throat> like when Dale first came to town... I remember that that famous video where he confronted you on a squat rack, you know, D- Lenny, Lenny. And then you two were nose to nose, well, chest to nose. And you were making eye contact. You were looking right into I him. Think you got well, that that little, I think you got that a little reversed. That was a different story. I'm just daring him. Go ahead and take the first punch. I don't know what this is all about. I was expecting Christina. You know, I, know, I remember that kind thing. of a yeah, disappointment. He, was, he wore that shirt. <laughs> yeah, and, um, sorry. <laughs> you know, he's coming out of nowhere. 
but he always gets the first punch. Because, Dale, if I didn't go by that philosophy, I would have hit you as hard as I could. Oh, boy. No hard feelings, but that's just the way it is. Men were born to fight. Well, what if someone throws the first punch and they knock you the fuck out? Good for them. I'll get back. You don't ever believe in throwing the first punch in a situation? No. Take you put the liability on them, then I could tee off. And if you knock me out, oh, well. Hey, but while you're knocked out, you can get your head kicked in. Yeah, exactly. You know? Yeah. Didn't that happen to your buddy? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Back in 95, yeah. he got jumped by a gang. What happened? Beat him into a fucking coma. He almost died. There was a guy that one of the gang members was your size. Wait a minute. Over was, that, was he that famous thing was in the paper? Yeah. His name was Joe Pym? Yeah. I he lived across the street from I me. I remember when he was in My the uh, Pinecrest Rehab. Yeah. And I remember the guy that did it. They called him Gator. He kind of looked like Jay Masters. Yeah, that's, that's exactly who. Big happened. coward. He was stepping on him. No, he was jumping. You saw he, it? He, no, I wasn't there that night. It was, it was a part. They were having a keg. We used to always go to different places. Yeah. And have keg parties. And that, that so happened to be at the Boca Inlet that night. That One of the kids in the gang was holding everybody back with a gun while, this, while Gator was jumping from the bench onto his head multiple times. And then they all... 300 pounder. Yeah. I saw the nobody, nobody jumped in because they, like they, they were holding him back with the, with the gun. And you know what? He's a corrections officer now. Joey Pym? Yeah. Good for him. Yeah. Where's Gator at? Still doing time, I hope. Who knows? Probably. No, but my but my my friend that took him to the hospital, he's probably out he thought he was dead. Years. He his whole face was covered with when they wiped the blood off. There's a fucking shoe print on his face. How could you do that to somebody, Gator? You fat pig. Yeah, he's a piece of shit. And that kid, that that guy, Gator, his his family was wealthy. They're, they're, he's a fat, lazy pig and a wimp. Yeah. Disgusting. Well, what happened was he, you know, and Joe was he he was mouthy when we were younger. You know, he took he talked a little shit, and I guess they showed up at the party, and I think Joe lipped off or whatever, and one of the one of the kids in the gang hit him in the back of the head and knocked him cold out. That was it. He didn't see it even he didn't even see it coming. Cold out? You mean out cold? How cold? Where were you, Brad? I was. Where the fuck was I? I was actually at Mike and Craig's house. Doing what? I wasn't at their house. We were out skateboarding. This is getting interesting. Yeah. So you're skateboarding while your friend's getting his head stomped. Hey, I didn't go there that night. What do you want me to do? But you knew it was going to happen. No, absolutely not. All those kids got arrested, went to jail, and Joe's father was a, was a Palm Beach County sheriff. So they fucking tried every one of them to the fullest extent. Well, the sheriffs get preferential treatment for their kids yeah, getting stomped? Basically. <laughs> yeah. Uh, disgusting. Yeah. I remember that well because I remember seeing the kid... And, the, uh, you know, he was a good athlete, too. He's a good soccer player. Fast. He was fucked up after that. When he got out of that coma and went home, he was real fucking thin. He was like shaky and shit. We, I was like in mm. shock, man. The first day I saw him talking all slow. Could you imagine? He had to go through a lot of rehab for that. Could you imagine you're getting st stomped and people are looking on? I've seen people. He was out cold. He I didn't, he didn't in, remember. I saw a kid get he didn't remember anything. He still doesn't to this day. He doesn't remember anything from that night nothing he was in a coma for three fucking months you should see the scars he's got on his fucking stomach from them having to cut him open and shit Jesus. whatever kind of surgery he had a kink in his intestine well. yeah. yeah man that goes back to my point sometimes you gotta th consider throwing the first punch or that can happen to you yeah well I guess if it happens to me here comes Christina um <laughs> it could happen to me at the Olympia Nah, it's not. What's his face? Uh, what's his face? Uh, we come in peace. That's right. Uh, He's looking for that bullshit. Too many cameras. What's the name of the world's strongest man competitor? The big guy? Brian Shaw. He could jump on my face. Why would he want to do that? I don't know. Oh, my God, Leonard. <laughs> you probably bomb Brian Shaw. He'd probably enjoy that. I enjoy a 10, 10, 10 jumping on me with, with stiletto heels. Well, we can make that happen, but not at the expo. Or doing jump face, a face sitting jump, a, a butt drop, they call it. Oh, my God. A butt drop. Kalor is going to You mean like, like Rakishi, the, the wrestler who used to do that? Yeah. Kalor is going to have like the biggest fucking bags under his eyes. Yeah, I know. Bigger than what I usually have <laughs> come Sunday after I know. sleeping in the same room with you. I hope I have some big trendy ball bags under my eyes. We should have we should have up we should have up the fucking donation so you could each have your own room. Well, Brad, <laughs> the filling will be easy. But it's all right with the GoPro. 
Yeah, some some guy reached out and said he's going to send me a GoPro. Let's see if he can do a better job than Lou on filming. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, why? I, you why? Your video didn't come out the way you wanted it to, Leonard. Should have been more close-ups. Oh, how, how close up of what? How close do you want him to get to you, man? And she at the end, she says she's putting a condom on. She wanted to bang me, but we couldn't get to that part. You're fucking gross, dude. You are a gross <sighs> human being. <laughs> Some, I'm gonna start rethinking this Olympia trip. <laughs> Go to the truck stop. Where'd Brad go? Yeah. You just want Jay to suck you off <laughs> at the truck stop. Uh, he'd probably give me the best blowjob of my life. <laughs> oh, yeah. Is that a Freudian slip? <laughs> and he, and he, he wouldn't remember it. It'd be great. And I bet you you give him the best rim job that you never gave anybody. Did I suck somebody's dick last night? <laughs> you have no clue. That's why his eyes are always glued shut. He's blowing truck. He's blowing truckers. Yeah. You know what that's and, let from? Him, and let him spray all over that's his face. CPAP mask, because I got to clean my eyes. Oh, really? Big time. Yeah. Oh, okay. The uh, air sort of escapes out. And when air is being blown on your eye, your eyes' as a defense mechanism starts unleashing goo to protect it. It's like eye boogers, but that's a protective measure for the eyes. Measure. All right, let's answer some more questions and wrap this up. We got to book our trip. It's getting late. And we need Lenny to sing the blues again. And Leonard has to do, we have some cameos for you to do. Yeah, that's right. For those of you out there, bookcameo.com, look up Big Lenny. Oh, Jason started a live video. (laughs) Bookcameo.com. You do good ones, man. They're fucking funny. For whatever special occasion. Now back to Brad. (laughs) (laughs) You don't want to say new universal... Oh, uh, New World Nutritionals. I'd like to thank my sponsor, New World Nutritionals. The liver cleaner's working great. I'm not fucking saying nobody because I, I, I don't hear it a takes fucking away, thank you. So guess what? It takes away the pressure of my stomach because it helps with the bile salts, which a lot of them, when you're taking orals, it has something to do with bile salts. Huh. So interesting. That's forget about milk thistle. You, you oh, you know who I'd, 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 I'd like to thank GoFundMe. I'd like to thank all the maniacs that donated to the GoFundMe. Me too. Thanks for your contribution. Finally, a year. You know, every year they've been asking us to to get out there, and we can make it happen this year. It's great. They've also been asking Christina to get out and meet me too. So, give us some ideas of, of what else you want us to do while we're out there. I wanted Although, to. I wanted to have Lenny jump off the stratosphere. Would you bungee jump off the stratosphere? <laughs> No. <laughs> <laughs> they, actually, they wouldn't let you. Your heart condition, they won't let that you. Cookie cutter shit. No, they wouldn't. There's no way they would fucking let you. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you giggling? <laughs> they actually have a bunch. They used to do bungee jumping behind the circus circus into a fucking, like a pool. Well, at the Rio, don't they have a zip line? I don't know. It's called the Voodoo. Yeah, they have a zip line there. I was looking it probably, up. He's probably passed the weight. Yeah, I know. Time. That's the problem. Yeah, because the Rio has two hotels. Right. They, yeah. There's a zip line that goes b- between them both, if I'm not mistaken. Are we going to announce where we're staying? Are we out there? Should we not? Not a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, we, we've narrowed it down to a few hotels. We just need a you know, Trump crunch. Or what? I'd love to stay there. Great. Hey, yeah. Aaron messaged me and said there's actually deals at that one. Yeah, I looked it up. Nothing that great. Oh, no. Okay. Question for Brad and Andrew. From your experiences using quote-unquote substances and the gains they have helped you achieve, do you wish you had tried them sooner? Yes. And you don't have to put substances in quotes. Testosterone, yes. I I I, wish I I, would have started it. I agree with that. Yeah. Absolutely. Not only for the gains in the gym, which my gains have been marginal. I mean, I'm up to just about 200 pounds. But it, there's more to it than that. It changes the way you feel. Dude, you f- I swear you to God, energy. you feel like you're 25. May yeah. not look it, you know, but I feel fucking great. I can get up every morning, it, get to the gym. It, Even on six, five, six hours of sleep, I'm ready to go. Who took it and didn't benefit? Nobody. I know. Even women take it and they benefit and, from and we're, uh, the all, all we're talking about are low levels of testosterone. I mean, Brad did a cycle of trim, but for me, it's just been low levels yeah, of testosterone. Happened, makes, it tore it my makes, fucking pack yeah. like a moron. It makes women superhuman, too. It really does. But do it the right way. Get your levels checked. Like we were talking about that with Hamburg. Hamburg is convinced, who just went back to Sweden today, that he's got low test levels. And we keep telling him, get your levels checked, man, and, and do what you got to do. He's just at the right age. He's 43. That's when it happens. Yeah, he'd be quite, quite impressive. Yeah. Right? yeah. 
Uh, and go give blood. I gave blood today. That's why I get this stupid thing wrapped around my fucking arm. Hamburg's got huge arms. If he got his test levels he's back a, up, he's, and a, big, he's a big guy. Big chest, big arms. He just that beer's kicking his ass. He's gonna look like Jay Masters in a couple yeah, of years if he keeps going. Come on, Jay doesn't look that bad. What are you fucking kidding? If Jay cut out the alcohol, no shit. If he cut That's out right. drinking within six months, you would see a totally different person, I think. All you have to do is go back and watch the videos when he first appeared in Misfit episodes. Yeah, his fat, his, he, he didn't have that big of a chin. He no. didn't have that big of a fucking gullet. His face wasn't that, chin. That, that red color. Well, I think he's just holding a lot of water now. He's bulking up. Dude. I'm not that. I think it's just the. It's he, interesting. He, he eats like shit because he's on the road, and it's hard to, you know, for him anyway. It's it's more about convenience. So hot dogs and fucking boiled well, eggs and shit. Not necessarily bad. You got protein in hot dogs. You know, you got protein. It, but it's not pizza. as easy on the road. He doesn't have a stove. Like you can't just cook a, a meal. You yeah, know what I, know. I mean? It's you can't meal prep. You can't do any of that. Well, shit. he's doing a pretty good job for. And then not only that, you keep, a lot of places where, where you want to get good healthy food. There's no room to park a fucking truck, man. That would be torture. That's that's a that's a rough fucking job. I, I doesn't want to escape a little bit and go to Vegas. Exactly. Nope. I, listen, if I if I had his job, dude, I'd be a miserable asshole all the time too. No offense. I'd, I'd probably be doing the same shit that he does. <laughs> but I guarantee you, I would not pass up a fucking all expenses paid trip to Vegas. Not a fucking I, million I, years. I I cannot wrap my head around I, it. I'm I'm in sh I'm still in shock. That's why I'm so pissed because I'm just shocked that he could be that fucking. Yeah, it's. I don't even know if it's stupidity, stubbornness. I don't know what it is. He wants to be a martyr, I, you know. Like, it's not even about the the taking a, the uh, the handout. He didn't even fuck it. That was never even like an excuse not to go. Mm -hmm. You know, it's just it's just weird, very odd. But, oh well, his loss. Maybe he'll scrounge up a couple thousand and surprise us all and show up. Imagine that we show up at the expo and like he's got a booth <laughs> selling selling yeah. bedroom bully trucker hats. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> selling jugs of piss. <laughs> Lou, Lou, Lou said, "Make the bedroom bullshitter shirt." That's great. That was funny as hell. When In he said fucking that. Ohio State colors, the bedroom <laughs> bullshitter. Perfect. <laughs> You're not gonna live this down, Jay. Nope. I told you I was gonna break your balls. He can dish it out though, so he he should be able to take it. <laughs> when all you, the shit, all the shit he talks on his lives about about us, you know it's coming back to you, Jay. Lenny, do you want to take us out by singing the blues again? Sure. All right. Got anything on your mind? The Mister Olympia Blues. <laughs> uh, there's no blues for that. No. Blues for those who aren't participating. Jason will be crying the blues until somebody fucking folds and says, I'll pay for your trip, which it will not be in any of us. You guys can guarantee that. Maybe Johnny Bravo will come through for him. Who knows? But he's... He's, he, he's working on that angle. Oh, <laughs> oh he's working on it. And, then, and that, there's not only the money, then you have to take into consideration Jane. There are legal implications, too. Because it isn't only a question of paying for Jason. It... Someone has to agree to be his legal guardian while he's out there. At least if, if this is it to be done the kosher way. And, you know. How much you want to fucking bet yeah. that if Bravo talks to Jane and gets permission, that she asks him for a little money? I'll let him go, but I uh, mm -hmm. need a few hundred. Oh, I, the air conditioner needs to be. Yeah. What do you think, John? I'll let Jason go, but uh, throw me a few hundred. <laughs> we'll have to. Yeah, that's, yeah. He wants to drive. He wants to fly him to Arizona Gotta grease and the fucking drive with him in his Lotus yep. to fucking Vegas. I said you're gonna dump him in the fucking desert an hour in. Absolutely, there ain't no way you can drive three to four hours in a fucking. No. Not even more than an hour. And well, we drove with him to Mel Chauncey's, but with all of us there, he kind of kept him in check. But can you imagine just one on one? Oh fuck no. Need chloroform. <laughs> yeah. Go pick some peyote and make him trip balls. <laughs> Good night, Christina. Come on, Adam. Do your thing. Fuck you, Christine. I hope I see you this weekend. What do you want me to do if I run into her in New York City, Leonard? Tell her something. Alabama Lenny. Hot Pocket. <laughs> Lenny wants to meet you. Uh, 
I'll try to do a video with her if I see her. I can't her. wait to use that at work tomorrow. I'm going to say that to my coworkers. Yeah. I can't wait. I just enjoyed an Alabama hot pot right. last night. Is it from Alabama? <laughs> Should be from North Carolina. You know how those fucking backwoods rednecks do weird shit, man? All right, we're done.